Hi, I'm Jennifer Ryan of Celtic Knot Crochet and today is another edition of our Making It With My Minis. <laughs> You're looking. No, I'm not. I can't get this one through. <laughs> can you chain without looking? My eyes are closed. I didn't look. And I can chain without looking. <laughs> I know it by feel. And then after you've done a bunch, <laughs> you want to check how long it is. <laughs> what the heck? Mine's longer than yours. Of course it is. <laughs> one of my minis. This is Kelly. Hi. She's 11. She's been crocheting a long time and about a week ago she came up with this really cool idea so we decided to make a video about it. She was at our homeschool group several weeks ago. We haven't met <laughs> in a long time, right? Yeah. And a friend of hers was doing the string games and that reminded us of how we used to do them. So she thought she would make her own string. So show us what you got. So she made her own nice thick string here using brightly colored yarn, her favorite. <laughs> so we're going to show you how to make one of these and then we're also going to show you how to make a couple really cool um, shapes with, with the string game kit. So. What you need in order to make this is any type of yarn, mostly medium weight. We're using Red Heart Super Saver. We have lots of it in all kinds of colors. Kelly's favorite color is orange, so she made hers orange. And then you'll want a nice size hook. Uh, we're using either H, I, um, you could even use J, right, if you wanted. Uh, this, one, this one I use 5.5 millimeters. And then you'll also need a um, measuring tape because it's key. Uh, you don't have to count the chains that we're going to make. You just have to measure. So easy project. You'll also, of course, need scissors and you'll need a yarn needle so you can join the two ends together and make one big loop. And then something else that we found in our bookshelf of craft books was this one called Cat's Cradle string games. The link to where you can purchase this book on Amazon, I saw there's a whole bunch there, um, will be below this video for you. There are so many great instructions in here to make all different kinds of uh, string shapes with this string game kit that we're going to make. So this helped us a lot in remembering how to work the strings, right? <laughs> so let's get started.
we've made our string for our string games. We wanted to show you one that we like that looks kind of like a magic trick. So go ahead, Kelly. What do we do first? So first you put the string on your thumbs, thumbs. and then you put your pinkies inside so it looks like that. Okay. And then take your pointer fingers and take that loop and just grab it over and then go through the loop for the other side. All right. And then I put my and hand up through the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> I put my hand down through there. And then you drop your pointer finger and pinky. And so she drops hand. everything but what's on her thumbs. And then I put my hand up. Not yet. All right. And then you take your, um, your pinkies and you go through again. And then with your pointer fingers. And then you go up through the top. Now I go up through the middle. And then, then I let go with my finger. She lets you again. Let's go with everything. And it's a magic trick. Magic. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to make a video of a couple other fun things to do like that. Um, some that you can do by yourself. And we might do one that you can do with another person. So you'll see the link for that in this video. Hope you enjoyed making your string art so you can do all these string games. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.